Hello reformers and welcome to my new series of the Bounty Hunter. Now, if you're looking for a smuggler series then click the annotation in the top left. There's also a link in the description and that will take you to my girlfriend Victoria's channel where she is doing a collaborative effort with me once again where we play two different classes simultaneously. Almost set up. See if you can't get that security network running, Mako. Sure thing, Braden. We'll be... Uh, hey, now. Indeed. The main attraction has arrived. Team, this is the man we're pinning all our hopes on. Best shot I've ever seen in Nerves of Steel. He's great hunt material, all right. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? What I'm ready to do is make a pile of credits. A man from your same mold, Jory. Pliska taka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Let's do things official like. This is Mako, little genius I picked up years ago in Narshara. She provides intel and tech. Hope you're as good as the old man says. And the big bruiser is Jory. He handles the heavy lifting and provides security for our base of operations. A tungi ma chechu, i kutsi nankihe. Cute girls and big guns. I'm sold. All right. Enough introductions. Down to business. We're here because the Great Hunt has been called. Little Mako is the most rabid fan of Hunter history this side of Geonosis. And even she doesn't know exactly what the Great Hunt entails. I do know the names of every Great Hunt winner, though. Bloodworthy, the Defenestrator, Jewel and Nightbringer. Every bounty hunter who's won a Great Hunt went on to massive glory and riches. Which is why we're here. You can keep your glory. I just want to be rich. Here's what I know so far. The Great Hunt has two groups. The Mandalorian Elite and Freelance Bounty Hunters sponsored by influential crime lords. There's no time to make you a Mandalorian. That means you need a sponsor. Nemro the Hut runs this stinking little town. I've got just enough pull with that gangster to get you an introduction. Mako. Scan for every bounty in the area. I want the nastiest, most brutal, untouchable scum you can find. I'm on it, Brayden. One nasty character coming up. We need to get you situated as a big-time hunter, at least as far as the locals know. Then we contact Nemro. Mako will plant rumors about your off-world exploits. But you have to take down someone impressive and local to sell the reputation. Is there anything that little girl can't do? She can't handle a gun like you can. Or we wouldn't need you, would we? Found something. Check this out. Vex, Corellian. Champion quickdraw artist, wanted for robbing 15 Imperial military pay stations. Perfect. This Vex is either a madman or a glory hound, and he's obviously dangerous. Says here, Vex has a safe house in the bad part of town, right in the heart of the madness. That'll be fun. Nemro the Hut's enemy took over part of this town. It's dangerous poking around in there, but it's your best shot. Raid Vex's safe house and look for something that might help us track him down, but be ready for anything. Don't tell me how to do my job, Brayden. Have it your way. That attitude gets a lot of hunters fried their first time out, though. But good luck.
Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a new series of Star Wars The Old Republic, and this time we are focusing on the Bounty Hunter class. Now, as you may have heard at the beginning of the episode, my girlfriend Bubbles, aka Victoria, is creating her smuggler series and if you want to see that then of course there is an annotation in the top left of the screen and you can click that and subscribe and do all those amazing things so otherwise we just now need to search for information on vex who is apparently a very unsavory character and we're going to be making our way out here because of course i do have a lot of mail but i'll do that off screen because going through that is uh, that is just terrible absolutely terrible oh uh, yes a bounty hunter who receives a lot of mail Yes, their work is never done, of course. So, let's see. How do I how do I actually play this? Oh my goodness, yeah. This actually reminds me very much of the Trooper, and that was my first ever character, of course. So, yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of similarities, but hopefully I will pick a different advanced class so that we don't have the similarities absolutely match, because otherwise that's going to be... Oh, that's going to be terrible, isn't it? That's absolutely going to be terrible. So, on our trooper, what did I what did I pick? I was a vanguard and not a commando. So, I assume a bounty hunter? Hmm. What are the bounty hunter advanced classes? Well, I guess we'll find out in due time. But, right now, we have a safe house to infiltrate. And we're going to be taking out a couple of these hired outlaws for the extra experience, of course. Yeah, there's level 2 already. Oh, and apparently Vex is not even here. Ah, there appears to be a data pad that we need to interact with, of course. Oh, and apparently that's all we needed to do. We're not even going to find Vex this time. No, apparently we just need to head back to Brayden now. Okay, well, I suppose that is to be expected. Yes, yeah, not going to be very lucky with our locating just yet. No, our bounties are... Um, evading us rather sufficiently right now but yes I suppose Brayden and of course Mako will make well tracking him down a little bit easier of course Mako actually seems like a really cool character so far and wait a minute where do I actually head to oh, I think it's just round here there we are that seems pretty good to me I'm just saying I want to go on some missions my blaster aim is pretty good Anything's better than sitting around with you in our gear. No offense, big guy. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go out there, hotshot? Find anything? Vex left a data pad at his safe house. Great, give it over and I'll see what I can make of it. Pleasure's all mine, big guy. Well, look who's in a generous mood today. Hey, Brayden. How was Nimrod's palace? We getting our hunter in to see this hut? I've laid the groundwork, but we're not there yet. What have you got? A data pad from Vex's safe house. Crack the encryption in record time. Check out that last entry. Our boy Vex keeps detailed records. There's a receipt here for a shuttle ticket he bought today. We'll have to move fast. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. He's a champion gunslinger, completely ruthless. What do you say, Hunter? You ready to take down Vex all by yourself? If I take down Vex alone, I'm keeping the reward. Nice try. No one works for free here. It's an even split among the group. If you head out now, you'll catch Vex at the shuttle port before he escapes. Bring back Vex's ID tags as proof that you're the one who got him. Anything else he carries is yours to keep. Oh, really? Ah, anything that he has on him is ours to keep? Oh, well, that sounds good to me. Okay, so let's put on those boots. Thank you very much. And that gives us a little bit of a stat increase, of course. And now we do need to go to Vex's hangar. Yeah, I'm not particularly happy about that, of course. We do need to go through a couple of hut units, but that is all good to me because, well, experience. Experience is required. Oh, yes. And of course, I am actually quite liking this new resource, and it is actually something I've never worked with before. Or is it? 
not really worked with that before. It's kind of a reverse of the Imperial Agent. And it's heat. So when we use abilities, we gain heat. And the more we use abilities, the less efficient we get. I, I assume that's the case anyway. So that's actually pretty cool. I do like that. Well, I'm unsure how cool it is, of course, because we only have one ability right now. But, well, we'll see as time goes on. Let's actually just take a look here. Ah, power tech. Oh, okay, so the power tech is the vanguard of the bounty hunter, and the mercenary is, of course, the commando. And I think we're probably going to go for the mercenary because two blaster pistols? That sounds pretty fun to me. But mm, we're still open to it. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to go for just yet, but yeah, right now we're just going to have to deal with Vex's thugs. Oh, yes. And, oh, he actually has 15 of them. Okay, well, we're going to be doing the bonus mission because, well bonus missions they're going to give you a good amount of experience and we don't have any experience boosts right now anyway so yeah there's a little bit of a problem there but yeah it shouldn't be too bad now we do have to wait for ambient regeneration by the looks of things so there is a little bit of concern about that because ambient regeneration on our resource not exactly a fan of that I do like gaining resources by doing something by attacking or something along those lines because right now this obviously just doesn't cost anything but if we had something like a normal attack, then we would be able to quite easily regenerate our resource that way. But I suppose that's just the way heat is. So we're going to have to manage it pretty nicely. So I'm going to have to, well, obviously just get used to that. It's been a while since I've actually used something like this, of course, since the trooper. Yeah, and the Imperial Agent really doesn't even need to manage its resource because, well, the abilities you use in a rotation are so cheap and indeed most of the skills that you use are actually costing nothing it's yeah it is quite easy to manage that but we have caught up to Vex and we are one level behind him so I'm a little bit worried that we might not be able to take him on huh? what's this a lawman of sorts never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by an ugly alien brute this is about money, not the law, not you. Ha! <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick-draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Uh. Cheater! Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I don't think that that is the definition of cheating, even though you technically, <laughs> you technically just said yourself that you are the quickest quick draw artist, well, fastest quick draw artist in the galaxy, and you were unable to beat me. And so, I, well, unable to beat Zayton at least, because, well, obviously he is the one that is wielding the blaster pistol. So, yeah, I, I gotta say, we're pretty impressive, aren't we? Well, we could have called him an idiot, I suppose, and he probably would have drawn his pistol against us at that point, but, well, I think we handled that situation relatively well, and, of course, that's what it's all about for Zayton. That is his philosophy. His philosophy is credits, credits, and getting the job done, of course. Getting the job done is going to definitely be something that he's going to be focusing on, but the majority of the time he's going to be going for mostly the job that will get him the most credits and, of course, the most efficient way of completing the mission, as is customary with bounty hunters, isn't it? Yes, you want to try and get your bounty as fast and as efficiently as possible, and if if they're going to be paying more for dead things, then dead things is what they're going to get, so... Yeah, there's going to be that too. But we have now returned to the Poison Pit, which is actually a rather enchanting name for a cantina, isn't it? Hmm, well, let's speak to Brayden. Hey, old-timers, I'm... Jory! Brayden! What happened? Is the old man... Somebody's gonna pay for this. No. The old man's really dead. But but he... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh. 
Wait, you had something to do with this. Are you crazy? Why would I kill them? I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. And I just can't believe he's gone. There must be some way to find out what happened. You're right. There is. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Blast it. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move and you're dead. Now if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Taro Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you. Taro Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibrablade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta! You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up-and-comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so-called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! Too late, old man. That scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. The big mouth running the show claimed he was tarot blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Taro Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. We need to find this man, Mako. He needs to die. The old man always said this is a thinking job. Know your enemy, then target his weakness. Taro Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. That seems simple enough. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This'll take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. It should be enough for two burials. I didn't know him well, but I'd still like to pay my respects. No time. You've got to get to Nemro fast. Brayden would understand and Jory would insist. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now you'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace and you'll score points with the HUD. Ah, well, we will attempt to do just that. But of course, we now have... Well, oh, oh, actually, another blaster. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, thank you very much. Oh, no, I don't want to open that up yet just yet. Thank you. Okay, so now we're using a Homestead Defense Pistol, and, well, that is a major upgrade right now. Okay, so, defeat Fathra's Street Captains. That is what we must do. And apparently, they are literally just over here. I am very thankful that they are so incredibly close by. I was a little bit daunted about actually running over here and seeing absolutely nothing, but thankfully enough we are going to be 
hopefully greeted. Ah, yes, here we go. Greeted by the street captains. Yes, there we are. Very nice indeed. So we only have two to kill. Very nice to see that the initial missions are this easy. But obviously we do need to get in some sort of justice. Yes, we need to get justice for Brayden and Jory. I did actually like Jory quite a bit. He was quite the... Well, not, not the funny fellow, but he did have a lot of honor, I would say. So that's pretty cool, in my opinion. And there's a Dr. Ogarob Hut's hollow statue. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to be training. Well, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ogarob. Yes, he apparently knows all about bounty hunters. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's get our combustible gas cylinder activated. We'll just put that over there. Flamethrower should be pretty nice. And rocket punch, of course. I'm going to put rocket punch on a different key. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And what about flamethrower? I'm not going to be using that all the time. So I suppose I could put that on somewhere else, I guess. So, yeah, that sounds a little bit better anyway. But, of course, I think these abilities right here, flamethrower and rocket punch, they're mainly going to be used with the power tech. Yeah, the power tech. Because that's going to be in close quarters combat, isn't it? It's going to be in close quarters combat most of the time, whereas, well, the mercenary is probably going to be well, much further away with dual blasters be barraging everyone in sight, most likely. So, let's head on in to speak to Nemro, and hopefully we will do a good job. Look, boss, little tiny man come to beg for mighty Nemro's attention. Iguramo ubanjoraliba istimbobo. Rundikaba kyotoba ubandabaka murzanita. I'm honored to be in your presence, Great Hut. Kilikali koka. Chiliska tananga ime chai jo ronchika ugli yoga jesko babunda griska takaya osta kagwa chine oiga anulio oba kisa spina perupa Mako said you're a powerful hut, Nemro. Is that a lie? Kutsi nanchi e jatoni ma kechu. Cha porco utmangisa, mitisa rota gopara. E gumbajiji, gorting, noli makichisa. Ninga ninga kitrita, nimo tanuv ayola, tanque kuta. O wala wanga, tuske wala wa, da blota wichawa. If there's money in it, I'll take any target. Una gota ni mi chawa wemo. Putula musta, wo brani tampio, du pushi wompa. Boka, te talia shlek krula, woska kwa bodnuta. Head on floor, got it. Sayadumbi no avadikuna. Chino ni dindogi. Be careful, little bounty hunter. Hut's Bane once blasted into other palace, killed pile of captains, murdered a mighty hut. Well, I am not a mighty hut. I am a bounty hunter, of course, and we are a Cathar, so I don't believe we are susceptible to the same kind of, shall we say, slug killer. Uh, am I going to be that insulting towards Nemro, considering he may indeed be sponsoring us into the Great Hunt? Well, I suppose we will find out in the next episode. And with that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.